The ulna shortening system is used for ulnar shortening procedures in cases where there is a significant difference in length between the radius and ulna due to trauma, excessive use of the wrist, or degenerative changes, causing the radius to shorten. There are two types of plates, and the user can select the type of plate depending on the size of the bone diameter. The two types of plates have a DCP hole, locking hole, and leg screw system hole and the distal and proximal part of the plates have a thickness difference of 2 millimeters, so they can be positioned to fit the contour of the bone. The patient is positioned supine, and then the arm is placed on the table with the ulnar and radial sides facing up, allowing vertical access to the inner sides of the radius and ulna for the incision. Select the appropriate sized plate and position it on the bone. Distinguish between left and right surgeries and fix the cutting guide to the plate with screws. Next, drill using a locking drill sleeve. Measure the insertion depth with a depth gauge and then secure the plate using screws. Drill at the proximal end of the guide using the drill sleeve and drill bit. Insert positioning screws into the plate and firmly secure them to the cutting guide using a screwdriver. Cutting is initially done at 0 mm using a 0.4 mm thick saw blade. Then, adjust the cutting guide to the desired dimension and perform another cut. Finally, remove the cut bone fragments. Use compression forceps to compress and fix the locking screws and plate positioning screws. Attach the locking drill sleeve to the proximal hole and drill using the drill bit. After drilling, measure the length using a depth gauge, then insert screws into the locking holes. Remove the plate positioning screw, unscrew the locking block screw, and remove the cutting block. Drill into the leg screw hole using the drill sleeve and drill bit. Measure the length with a depth gauge and insert cortical screws. The cortical screws are inserted at a 50 degree angle to secure the cut surface. After this, the remaining screws are also inserted into the locking hole to complete the procedure.